Okay, we're back with Sabrina's barn. Uh, she's cool with everything. I don't know if you remember the last live stream or the last work session, but I had these little skinny areas right here between the doors. And I got her to let me make the building two feet wider to get a little more meat there. And so now she needs to submit this to her local municipality for approval uh, she's in some sort of zoned you know zoning uh, that requires her to, to to submit this for approval and I think it's because she tore down an old uh, old barn here so anyway I think you're, the idea is to try to rebuild on the same footprint but this thing's a little bit bigger um, so the thing I really made the mistake on was uh, I've got this what's funny is I've got this over here this is the actual one I'm working on because it's on the drawing axis you know it's a uh, view drawing axis I don't like it turned on but you can see our XYZ axis this one and it's it's just easier to draw with it you know because you can offset lines and all that kind of stuff when it, on the side plan <coughs> excuse me on the site plan, um, you know, it's got to be oriented, the drawing has to be oriented north like this. So that sometimes will cock the building, which makes it more difficult to draw on. So let me turn that axis off because it's annoying to me. And so what I do is I make the building a component. And so I can work on it over here. And in effect, <clears throat> you know, that copy, that copy is off the axis that way I don't have to worry about it so anyway the mistake <clears throat> oh gosh am I gonna get hoarse today <clears throat> let me take a drink out of my brand new coffee mugs which are available I'm <laughs> just kidding oh man they are available on but uh anyway I'm not trying to sell them I'm just kidding um <laughs> Let's see, the mistake I made was when I was meeting with her, I drew this sort of in that typical noob style where you, you know, noob to, to sketch it, where you draw something, you know, and, and then you off, you know, you offset it, you know, to make walls or whatever, and then you bring it up, and, you know, it's that I was in a hurry. I wasn't in a hurry, but I was trying to save her. I was trying to be respectful of her time, so I didn't go through the whole make the floor a group, make the walls a group. Now I'm paying for it uh, because I need to. I should have made a floor plan, and I didn't. Either that, I, I think I did have a floor plan, but I drew over it because if I turn off my wall cladding or my roof let's go to the roof let's turn off the roof see the roof I didn't do the whole roof on the roof uh, so the problem I've got now is if I try to select it these roof slabs which honestly if, if this gets approved I'm gonna probably redraw this whole thing and do it like I did the other barn the other I don't know what happened to the other barn but I've got all these pieces you know this is kind of how you're really supposed to do it. You know, have your components, uh, your individual parts and pieces. Not sure what happened. Oh, all the layers are just turned off. Yeah, you see, this is the way I normally do it with all the detail after it gets approved. So, uh, this bar is pretty much going to go away. Pretty, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll save it for reference, but. Uh, the point here is I should be able to turn off my roof folder and all the roof stuff go away and if I try to double double click on it you see uh, well let's see what did I just select oh uh, you see I'm gonna have to go in here and select out stuff because if I triple click the whole thing gets selected and that's that's the problem with not separating your geometry into groups and I'm gonna you know it's a big dirty sin in SketchUp or any you know CAD software so 
um, especially SketchUp. So what I'm going to have to do now is try to do the best I can. I'm, I'm thinking about just ignoring this and, and uh, maybe drawing the floor plan separately. Uh, you know what I just realized? Oh, there's a feature. Oh, man. I just... And this was not planned. <laughs> there's a feature that SketchUp has where you can do a section. I may have just saved myself a lot of work. You can do a section and then come down to where you want the section. Usually we go about five feet off the floor with a, a plan section like this. And then you can, uh, I think I just saved myself a lot of work. Then you can create group from slice. And I think you can, yeah, now I can just move this out of the way. And I just created myself a floor plan. Isn't that awesome? Yep, I'm a genius. <laughs> so now what I can do is, um, How do I get that? I haven't really done this much. But oops, I'm grabbing the whole thing. I haven't really done that this much before. Oh, I can just select it. I thought I was going to have to select the, the whole group and then somehow. Oops, I am. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. What if I, what if I uh, explode it? There we go. And I can, uh, let me explode everything. Then I can make it a group, all a group again. I'm going to cut it. Because I don't want it to be, well, I do. I want it to be part of this component, but not part of some section. Okay. What is that? What is, I'm trying to figure out why the, why all this this big square. So let's uh, what happened? I did not do that. I did not do that. Okay. All right. Okay, I get it. Okay. I get it. I get it. So I need to put this on its, uh, should be 2D first floor plan. 2D plan first. Okay, because I will have a second floor plan. Okay. Now I need to put it, um, over here where it's going to go. I, don't, I want this line. Let me, let me do this for a second. Okay, that's just the group thing. I don't know what that little booger is. What is that? Okay, maybe that's just a anomaly. Yeah, I don't know where... Oh. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the axis. <laughs> I was like, what is that? I just couldn't see the rest. That's funny. All right. Get to work, Tony. So, so here we're going to go. We're going to put this right here because we want to be able to see it. <clears throat> now what we want to be able to do is turn off, uh, Scheme walls roof. Okay, I got desperate and put it all in the same layer. So and I think I put it down here. Yeah, now I'm remembering. I did. I was able to select out the doors and windows. So there's wall window. There's wall 
door. Okay. Now I can put this like this. And uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit. And we'll set up our first floor plan update. I don't like... Uh, Oh, I see. It put the profile for the garage door on there. That's funny. The way I like to do it is show a, a slab line. Okay. So what I like to do is put this line all the way around. Like that. It will delete this stuff. So this saved me a bit of time here. My little boogers. Try to keep it simple. Now on windows and doors, I like to keep it simple. I'm just gonna Man, but I don't have a lot of doors. Let's see if I can grab. Let me get this in the up straight up and down. Oh crud! If I can get this in a parallel projection mode, well, I could probably do it. Oops. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Not that though. I have found on floor plans it's better to just to keep it simple. And then um, you can draw yourself a uh, Yeah, that's, see, that's, they're showing the rough opening. I like to just, just one, and one, uh, again, trying to keep it simple. This would be three feet. Yeah. Like that. there what is that something on another layer not doing a good job with the eraser this morning the way I show my doors is well the door will show up whenever I do the garage door will show up whenever I do the uh, thing but what usually what I'll do is I'll come back here nine feet or eight feet oops or eight feet tall and come over and then just show that as a, uh, a dash line and I have a tag for that floor Dashed. I had one. Hmm. There we go. 
then we can just copy that around almost got in the way I had the end of it selected same thing um, I don't know what the rough up what they're showing on that let's see what they did three foot six hmm that's odd that's a trim but you know, that's why I like to do my my floor plan separately. Uh, not sure what that was all about. I have to go look at that. And again, just to keep it simple, I draw I do it like that. You'll see a lot of people who who go through a lot of trouble on their windows. But what happens is, if you don't keep it simple, when you start to do your dimensions and all that, uh, you start paying for all that complexity it just clutters up your drawing you're just trying to show a symbol for a window you're not trying to show the actual you know when you're talking about plans you're showing symbols for things not actual things <laughs> if you try to show like those doors over there you, that all that detail they show on the door was not going to show up on the drawings it shows up in your on your screen but it won't show up on the drawings it'll turn out as a big blob of ink on your paper so the best thing to do is to show a symbol for a door and then put your door number you know maybe door number one in a circle and then you go to the schedule and that tells you what the door actually is we're not trying to draw the actual door or window on the plan. It's a symbol for a door. Now, what I like to do, I do like to differentiate my walls with, uh, in this case, they're wood framed walls. So I'm going to go to my patterns, which we used to call hatch back in the old days when men were men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And women were women. Just kidding. I'm getting myself in trouble. So you can't even joke about things anymore. You get yourself in. Everybody's so politically correct nowadays. See, that just kind of helps the opening stick out. And see if we have any comments. Hello, bearded guy. <laughs> Back to bed. What the heck? You're supposed to be at, out of. They're supposed to be up and feeding the chickens before now. For some reason, I can't sleep uh, later on the weekends. I get up at 5.30 during the week, so my body just wakes up. So that is considered the slab line or the house line. I have a video on the house line. It's pretty funny. Uh, and these are the columns. And so what I'll do is I'll put the, that's a little wood grain in there to make them stand out a little bit better. Like that. And that's the simple, that's it. Now, what you can do is, um, if you wanted to get fancy, you could show the up the loft upstairs. But I like, I like to keep it simple. That, that loft is going to show up. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to uh, create the second floor plan. I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to cut it out of that cut. And then we're going to turn just to make sure I'm... Now what is that? 
That's a little booger hanging up in the air. What is that? I'm just going to delete that. Probably just delete the entire building. <laughs> I've done that before thinking I was deleting. Oh, good. I think that was... I think I know what that was. It had something to do with the top of this wall. That a little... Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, see? This is... This is why I want to get rid of this whole schematic thing because all this garbage is in here and I don't want to have to go through and just... Well, that was bad. I don't want to have to go through and clean all this up. So I'm going to uh, watch me do it now. See, this is where you, this is called OCD. CAD OCD. <laughs> but see, now I've got my pretty little floor plan in there. And now I can go to, um, I think I got my site plan already set up. Yeah, as a view. So now I can go over here and start to fix this. I can turn that off, and this is what I wanted. Uh, what I need to do, though, is I need to get rid of those faces because I need to be able to see through this plan to the old. I need to be able to show the old plan. But see what's funny about this is, is I can I can select this one. Since this is a component, I am, um, you know, I'm, th this is correcting itself on both, both, both sets of drawings. So that's cool. We'll just have to kind of figure out if this is the way we want to show it or not. Because I had, I had already drawn, let's turn all this off for a second. Uh, where's the floor? Let's turn it off. So see, I had already drawn. Um, I see what I need to do. I need to get rid of this thing. And this, this is the, uh, I had that hatched. I don't know why it's not showing up. I had that, what is this called? It should be called existing. We're going to put that in the site layer and call it. Existing or uh, what would you call it? Building, but it's been demo, so demo, yeah, existing building demo, and then we'll put this in that layer. Got plenty of layers, I'm gonna have to clean all that up. Uh, then I need to uh, hatch it, poche it. <laughs> Used to work with this old British architect back in the 90s, and his name was Stroud Watson. And uh, let's see, patterns, oh, patterns, and uh. Why is that not? What's going on here? Is that just not showing up?
Why is that not showing up? Am I going crazy? I mean, if I draw a rectangle and I hatch it. going on hmm. let's go to a different style here let's go to my uh, Construction document style and see. Oh, that is bizarre. That is bizarre. That style doesn't show, doesn't show uh, the, the patterns. Hmm. We shall have to remember that one because that kind of freaks you out a little bit. Or did me anyway. So this is where the old barn sat. I need to make that pattern a, a little bit. Uh, oh, that's the wrong thing. I need to make that where it'll show up when you're looking at it on the paper. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little more bold. And then if we turn on, what I'm trying to do is see if I can show both of them at the same time. If I can show the floor plan, it's going to be kind of confusing, isn't it? But we'll just have to see how it reads. You got a lot going on. You got the the old drive or the driveway. This is like a gravel driveway. I think I not, might need to. And then this 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 rectangle here is the old barn. And then the new the new barn is this. I think that'll read. And then then you got this old retain old stone retaining wall right here. And then there's some kind of patio right here. <clears throat> so what I was gonna do is put this on a sheet. And see if it was gonna let's see what my site plan looks like. Yeah, I got a site plan. I need to turn off this whole barn thing. That and see if it will see that. Oh wait, I know what to do. We gotta fix the style. I didn't save it. You have to save it per view, so I need to go up here and update the site plan. And then get rid of the barn again. And see, I don't, I don't really see. You'll have to see if that's gonna. Let's update this. I don't know if that's gonna read or not. That's what, that's your whole concern on, with drawings. You, the whole point is to convey a message, you know, uh, which is bound, you know, which is contractual language in contractor terms. Uh, you have to con convey a message. And if you're not, if, if it's not clear, then you're not doing your job. So what I want to do is go find a sheet I can use. And layout is the software we use for that. Checking comments. And let's see, have I started a job yet? 
for her. I could use, uh, trying to think of which one of these I could reuse right quick. Uh, well, let's not get too picky. Let's pick this one and then we'll just delete the sheets we don't need. And probably going to regret this, but yeah, that's not the best. Not the best one. I think the one that's better would be I did a house in Florida desktop. That, that. What was her name? Surely that was in 2022. I'm confused now. Oh, James River Home. There it is. Her layout was probably the most simple. Yeah, it's a clean. I was trying to find a drawing that had a clean, clean set of drawings. That other one is kind of weird. So see, I can use I can use this sort of as a guide. So I'm going to save this as. Go back to 2023. Sabrina. Sabrina's barn. And then we'll get rid of all this stuff. I just need the sheet. And we'll go in here and we'll change this to this is just a placeholder off uh, I'll change all this uh, later that'll just remind me to do it by doing that uh, it should be in all caps really We'll call it Monitor Barn. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll just delete. Well, we're going to need these. We're going to need these sheets, so we'll just leave it the way they are. We'll, we'll delete this. And we'll delete Document Setup. What you can do is go in here and I can... Uh, unlink Jane's and then purge it and then when I go uh, for some reason it did not want to do what I wanted it to do document set up purge or unlink and purge Hmm. It's supposed to let me uh anyway, oh, no big deal. I'll just do that. But anyway, I'll do that later. Uh right now I'm gonna work on the site plan. So then what I do is I'll import the barn. Why do I have oh here? And we will, hmm, let me go save that, save, 
Can I get a text? We'll go back to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this one. So let's try that again. I'm not sure quite what was going on with that. And then I'm gonna, hmm. What's this about now? Let's close this. And open it again. I've never seen that before. I think it may have something to do with the way I was playing around with the, the document set up. Yeah, that's what it is. Update. There we go. Just had to, sometimes you just gotta close it down and reopen it. Everything will be fine. Let's see. So what I want is the scene, which is the site plan that I've got set up. And I think I have <laughs> more than one. Yeah, that's the danger of that. This over here, and to make this show up a little better, you can go into SketchUp model and select hybrid, and it will darken the lines. And then you want to set up a scale, and really, let's see what a typical scale would be like. Um, let's see what 120 does. That's just don't know if you're going to be able to read uh, <clears throat> we could try an architectural scale like the sixteenth of an inch like that and then cause I don't have to show the entire I don't think I have to show the entire What we could do is this, we could reference the survey. Um, I was kind of hoping to put some elevations on uh, what I was kind of hoping to do is like do a, is this locked? What you want to do then is make sure it preserves scale. When you start, after you set your scale, it'll typically check this little box and then you can move this around you can change the size of your view port without changing the scale but i was kind of hoping to be able to put two elevations over here just so it would be kind of neat to have a have a front have one perspective and another perspective and um then maybe reference the uh I think I have a, I think I have, yeah, I have a copy of this survey right here, but it's not very good. That's how I drew all this stuff. <clears throat> This is actually most of the work in construction documents is this part of it, trying to figure out exactly how you want to show it uh, to portray the message. You know, the fun part is uh, is the model, right? The work is the work is trying to figure out how to convey the the work, convey the work to the to the owner and the contractor, all parties involved. This is how I'd like to be able to do it. Maybe, uh, <clears throat> if I just tried a little bit bigger scale, uh, I meant smaller scale, not bigger. If I went back to this, uh, 
I still can't show the whole thing without taking up a whole sheet. This, the only way I can show the whole site is, uh, uh, you know, get get to where you possibly might not be able to tell what's going on with the, where you, what you're trying to convey. Because, I mean, I can't get this. And see, none of this is relevant over here. This thing goes on forever. <laughs> see? So, I don't, it's not worth, it's not making your, it's not worth making your drawing unreadable right here because it's so tiny just to be able to fit this part of the site in that's irrelevant. So, What is a little bit, what is a little bit relevant is the entrance down here and because that sort of orients the, uh, it sort of orients you to the site. If you know where the street is, then the locals, the local officials will know, oh, here's our street. This is our driveway coming up. This will orient them. And then having all this stuff is really kind of, so if I save half the sheet, what scale is that? One inch equals 30 feet. That's a reasonable scale. So we'll try that. And I still think it's too small, but one, one thing, one way to test this is to bring in the floor plan and put it at a scale you know works. Insert and change this scene to the floor plan and then we will put it on a quarter inch per foot. So see that's a it is a smaller building to preserve the scale. Just to give you an idea, if this was not checked preserve scale, then then you would you would you'd be changing it. Let's see. Uh, it's not going to work the way I want it to. But anyway, so I'm going to set this at a quarter again. That's your typical scale for a floor plan is in residential quarter inch per foot. Now, if we, you can actually read down to an eighth inch per foot, but you can see if I put this here, and on this and on this simple plan, you could read that, but see how much bigger it is. You're asking, you're, you're asking the people to be able to do, zoom in, which you can't do, and say, oh, that's that's the existing building, this is the new building, you know, when this is really a, even a small scale for the building right here. So, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to make this bigger. The reason, the reason I'm going through all that is because <coughs> it's hard to... It's hard to get an idea looking at your computer screen um, what is what. I still want to kind of show that entrance down there to the street. So I think what I'm going to do is this. One more adjustment, and I'll be happy. <clears throat> I 
Now I could actually still fit it. I think as long as I show that corner, that'll give them a good reference. Then I've got all this space if I want to put some elevations on there. So I may experiment with that. And what I'll do is I'm going to move this up closer to get it, gain a relationship between this. Not sure why this is all sticking out over here. No need for that. And this was what did our scale end up being? One inch equals 20 feet. I can't see my keyboard, man. <laughs> Got my laptop uh, folded down. Uh, gonna go ahead so I can use my big monitor. And I'll put this here. And what we'll do is we'll put our cool artisan north arrow. What did I do with it? Did I delete my north arrow? Hmm. That's odd. Where's my templates? Here we go. I hope I, did, I, hope I saved that. There's my... Here's the cool artisan north arrow. Copy. Yeah. Paste. Hmm, that's not big enough. Just put it in here somewhere. And we'll see what our site plan looks like. And we'll update that. And we'll save. And we'll update this on our page. That's fine. Good enough for now. We'll have to perfect it as we go, but this shows them. And this is your traditional. The reason this is all cocked is because we we show north up on on. This is true of maps and architectural drawings and uh, any kind of uh, usually any kind of reference like this. Mm. If I show the the uh, showed it you know the way I draw it then you, you wouldn't know this would be this would be cocked <laughs> so anyway so now let's go to our back to our drawing back to SketchUp and we'll go to our floor plan there we go and well that's good and well, I think what I want to do is set up some views. Uh, for the... Uh, let's turn on... Did I already set up some views? I guess I didn't. Well, I did, didn't I? I just need to change this... Uh, style I like to draw in this style but not uh, so if I wanted to say this is work uh, do I want to save that as work anyway I'll have a work view let me just save that 
and then but as far as the front elevation itself when I go to print I want it to be in a construction document style so I don't get I don't have a blue I don't have to print all that blue ink and then also we want to change our I guess that doesn't matter so this will be our front we'll call it front and then we'll do kind of a rear and let's change those shadows so they don't they're not so dark take them off the ground yeah we'll just not have shadows on this I don't know I might leave a little shadow just to give it some effect like that and we'll call this back back that switched really quick <laughs> I was gonna say it's not supposed to it, it must have been uh, maybe I should okay So we'll save that. I don't know if this is going to work out. I was kind of hoping to have just one sheet that uh, she could submit. <coughs> Front elevation. And did I not save it? I did probably have to just update it. Yeah, there we go. So now we can kind of get this. You see, this is where that comes in handy, not preserving the scale. You can kind of get because this these elevations aren't going to be to a scale per. You know, they're just going to be, um, you're just really trying to see how you can fit this on the page. And, um, not sure why I can't get it to move over without panning it. Okay. Okay. It. I think uh, for some reason there is this drawing is lagging a little bit. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it's got a bunch of garbage in it. And I think I'm gonna make it smaller because I need to get I need to get this down here. And then I need to get the other one above it. So I'm going to try just a little bit. Let me see if I can lock that scale. And then see what, if I can get the... Uh, that's more like it. Yeah. And then I'm going to lock, now I'm going to lock it here, and I'm going to go up here, and let's see, sketch that model, turn it on hybrid, let's see, it'll kind of darken it up a little bit, and get that locked off, tighten this up. And what I'm hoping to do is sometimes you'll get lucky and I can copy this viewport and up here 
And if I go and do the other scene I want, hopefully the scale will be pretty much the same. Uh, I might have to update it. Okay, sometimes you have to go over here and reset, reset them, and when you do though, you kind of lose that, that scale factor that you, you had, so you have to kind of play with it, it's a little too, too small. Maybe just a little bit bigger. I want the back to be the dominant. Okay, oops. And I feel like that's a dominant. Uh, let me see if I can get this a little bigger. This lag is killing me because I, if I, I'm scrolling one wheel click at a time on my, my mouse, and since there's a lag, I can't tell where to stop. So I'm gonna try to stop right there. There we go. And we'll smooth this over a little bit. Oh, you see, it got bigger on me. Dang it! Ugh, oh, man, it's frustrating. It's not my computer. The problem is with SketchUp because it only uses a single core of your. Uh, you could have twenty core, you know, <laughs> processor, and it would only use one core of it, which is I've always thought was ridiculous. Now I'm double clicking to get the pan up and it's not responding. There we go. That's a little bit. See? There we go. I think I'm just going to quit playing with it and be satisfied with it. And then what we'll do is we'll pull this over here. Call this number two. Front. Inflation. And I'm just going to say not to scale because it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. And we will take this. Here, I might raise this. I might end up raising both of these up a little bit. That. And see now she can just take one sheet and submit it. Is that hybrid prefer uh, shell? Is that cutting off that 
roof. I didn't notice that before. It was, wasn't it? I thought something looked funny. Now, if uh, if we can get this to read, uh, then she can just um, so this is the this is the setback here. Let's see how we're gonna do this. So this is your. Uh, we need to do this so that you can read it. So this is going to be uh, <laughs> um, Previous barn location, and we'll come over here, and we'll do. I'm trying to think of where my dimension lines are going to be. I don't want to do that. Maybe this new barn location. Maybe bring that in a little bit away from that. And what we'll do is we'll put a. I think this is the setback. Yeah. That's the. Oops. That's the current setback. And then we'll show from there. Uh, I'm not going to do this. We're just going to call it 20, let's see, we're going to call it 20 feet. Plus or minus. Nah, we're going to call it 20 feet. Again, you're, you want this to read, right? The whole point is to convey information. You're not... Um, where is that? I don't want that leader on there. the leader can't I get rid of the leader dang it well I can explode it how about that There, showed you, didn't I? And then we'll do a dimension line on the barn. 36 feet. And I don't want that in there. And I don't want What in the world? Why can't I select that? Ugh. I 
that's just bizarre. That's just bizarre. Whatever. Uh, maybe when it prints, it'll print as one. Yeah, that'll print as one. I could see if I can delete this one. Explode. Why do those later? Why do those things become unselectable when you? It's just bizarre. Annoying, annoying. So that should read. I'm pretty sure that'll read. So 25 feet back. That's the setback. We'll label that just in case they don't know. What we'll do is we'll put these out here. We'll put uh, here property line. And then here we'll put And you try to group your the things you're trying to convey. I'm trying to convey that is the setback. Setback. And this is the property line. So I'm putting them kind of together. I want a little bit of a bend. This line doesn't look... Oops. I want to have more of a bend to stick out better against. The, I really don't like that. Um, oh well. Sometimes you just got to be satisfied. And so now we'll put a, uh, a length on the, the new barn. Okay, so that tells them that the new barn is 36 by 47. And this dash part is the old barn, the previous barn. New barn. This is this is a gravel driveway. What else? This is a pond. This is existing residence. I don't know what this is. Is it labeled over here? Oh, what am I doing? Let's go to the old survey. Where is it? That's, oh, I get it. Okay, we were in a weird view. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I can't read that. That's a stone wall, so I'll... I wish I had a little way to do the way they... I like the way the surveyors put that little... Uh, etching around the edges of uh, existing buildings. Uh, I want to label it stone wall. And That's pretty good. So now they can. The only thing I, I wonder if I can get these markers are a little bit big as far as uh, these reference markers. Like if I wanted to come out here, oh, not too bad.
thought they would be bigger than that. So we just need to get it parallel. Let's see, let's move it over here. That's not too bad. Got a pretty good guess. And we'll put it. I might just move this down a little bit. This really needs to be kind of like tucked in here. And that's one A one. Or that's two A one. And then this over here, these dimensions really should have been tightened up a little bit. Well, I know what we can do. We can kind of uh, we can kind of cheat this and just put this back here and uh, rotate it around. Except I didn't mean to. Uh, Oh, you know what you're supposed to do is the part you're supposed to rotate is just I just caught myself doing something here. This is supposed to stay not that, but this is supposed to stay horizontal. Cooperate. You see me moving that. I'm having to manipulate it. Okay. So let's delete this one since I had all that trouble. <laughs> and we will copy this one up here. And this is going to be three. A1 and then we're just going to move this thing and for some reason What's going on here? What is going on here? What did I do? Getting into minutia now, man. 
The minutia is here. Minutia is here. All right, so we're gonna quit fooling with that and we'll make it, maybe we'll put it back up here. All right, so that's 3A1, that's 3A1, that's 2, 2A1. So what that does is that orients them that borders locked. That's why it turns red like that. So you can't, so I can't delete it. So that gives them a pretty good bit of information because if they say, "What is all this mess?" right, and you're saying, "Okay, if you don't know what this mess is, go look at two A one. That's what this mess is. You're looking at a monitor barn. This is kind of the front. What am I looking at here? Oh, that's a." Uh, side window um and you know it kind of orients you oh this is the front it's an it's got this carport thing on the side a, or to park a, a you know a tractor or something and um so this is just kind of a preliminary drawing i do like to separate this a little bit is that locked let me see so I don't change my scale and screw up the whole thing. I do like to pull these off. So there's a gap there. I don't like that touching. And that's not ch touching. And uh, I think that's pretty good. Site plan. I'm going to put her address on there after I get through with the video. She'll give her a little privacy. And... Uh, I think the only thing I don't know is I would name this street. What is the name of that street? I keep wanting to back out, but it's over here. Okay. All right. So I think we'll cut it off here. Let's see if I have any other comments. Nope. It's too early on a Saturday morning for comments. And, uh, but I think I'll cut it off here. And, well, let's see. I was going to work on that. Uh, I thought I had made myself a copy of the floor plan. Did I not? Well, we'll let's see. We'll, we'll work on the floor plan a little bit. Let's go to here. Let's go to here to make sure I'm working on the same building, the same version. I guess it matters. It's a component. Let me go back to the first four. I thought I had made myself a, a copy of this. This is why I'm kind of questioning what happened to it. Maybe... I should see if there is a second floor. I didn't do that, did I? So, let's do this. Let's go in and make sure I'm editing it. Yeah, okay, so that's that. So I want to copy this. Well, you know what I could do? This is going to become a 2D, 2D plan second. Okay, then I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to get the barn turned back on. And then I'm going to place this kind of in a logical location.
there is such a thing. I think the floor is right about there somewhere. I'll have to put a floor in, won't I? So what I can do to help myself, help yourself, is I, I can go in here and put a reference line. Let's see, where would it be? It would be right there. right and then it would be right here oh no yeah yeah Whoa. I wonder is that right in the right place yeah it's where the garage doors it's funny it worked out right there so that would be oh. where am I I'm inside here we go that now I can go to the first floor plan and let's see I don't want to do that I need to turn on the second floor plan and, and I can turn off the first floor plan and I can work on this I'm going to get rid of these. Because uh, this is all just wall. And I'll get rid of these doors. And let's see, do we still have a hatch? Fill in all this. Get my view here a little easier to work on. Now there are windows and I'm going to show that. You know, it might have been easier to do a section of the because I've got a bunch of windows. Or it might have been easier to do a combination. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a combination. I'm going to go in here and delete these things. And then I'm going to do a section of the windows and overlay it to save me some time laying them out. Cause they don't line up I don't think they I don't think these upper windows line up with the lower ones I think I spaced them differently this won't be here let's see do I leave that and dash it no I don't become that's it part of she's gonna have uh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in here as a reference, but part of the upstairs is gonna be a, a you know floored. I just don't know how much. So for now, I'm gonna. show this as a dashed line just to remind me of where it is then what I'm going to do is go back to my front elevation and I'm going to cut me a line cut me a section and this is going to be a fun trick Let's see if I can get this to go on the blue. I couldn't get to cooperate on the roof, so I'm having to. Why is it laggy? I don't understand. Don't understand. There we go. So see that's going to give me all my windows except what if I turn the windows off? I'm trying to decide if it's worth it or not. Because now I'm going to have all those little things I don't want. What if I turn the windows off? I turn the windows off. Will it get rid of the Yeah, that's good. I don't at least I won't have to delete all that junk. This will just show me where they are and that'll that will save me some time. Now I can create a group from the slice and move it out of the way for right now and I can select uh, this I think I can delete that yeah so that was a neat trick so if I go back to the first floor plan and I turn on the second floor plan oops I hadn't set the second floor plan view yet, so it was going to some other place. Some other place, man. Now I can put this over this. And in the middle. Is that right? Thirty-five, seventeen foot six. Yep. And then what we'll do is we'll cut that and then we'll go in here and edit and paste her in there. And voila. Now what that reminds me of is that this this is not here. Oops. Let's see if we can define this by doing this and then, yeah. Sometimes you have to kind of trick it. All we're going to do there is just show the outline, the building outline, and then we'll show well, something's not wanting to cooperate here. 
let's redraw this line. And see if we can then see if it'll cooperate. Here we go. Except that now it's let's do this and this. What am I looking at down there? Oh, I'm looking at the. I need to turn off the first floor plan. I'm going to delete something accidentally. Let's see if we can get this to work better by filling this in. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes when you copy uh, stuff and overlay it, you have to kind of redraw over it. And so it's kind of a pain, but at least you don't have to do all that layout stuff. I should be able to delete these now. Yeah, my computer's awful hot. Better save this. Just touch that little area above the delete button and where the fans are, and it's hot. Well, shoot, that means I gotta redraw these. No big deal. Yeah, and we'll put our lines, I bet we have to do this too. But again, I didn't have to lay out everything, which is handy. Oop, wrong button. So we'll go back in and put our... I'm gonna oops, draw these and then copy them over. that and then <clears throat> so at some point there will be a uh, there'll be a set of stairs or a ladder and at some point the floor let's say uh, halfway you know, at some point there will be a handrail here let's just call it uh, 3.5 like a two by four going across and then and then somewhere there would be a ladder like there would be maybe a hatch for a ladder say we came out three feet that's three inches 36 maybe not that far maybe we come out Oh, 30 inches. That's big enough to crawl through. Depends on what you're going to try to take through the hole. Well, you, can, you don't have to go through. You don't have to take stuff through the hole. You can...
And then there would be a, uh, yeah, because you'd want to have room on one side for the handrail, 3.5, or a guardrail, actually. And the ladder would come up through that hole, something like that. Maybe we make it a little bit smaller to differentiate between the window. Give it back, give it like three inches. Something like that. And we could show a, a ladder. Just something. How would we do that? Just show it kind of a. A little bit narrower just to differentiate it. And we'll make it 24. Oops, that ain't gonna be. Twenty. These rungs are a little bit too wide, so I'm just gonna show them like, like that. something to uh, just something to indicate a ladder you know because you're going to point to it and say ladder <laughs> doesn't have to be the perfect ladder and then what you do is show this open to below and then you can say roof 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 below or whatever so if we set this up as our second floor plan, we could go up here and now I can update this one. And that's good. And then when I turn on the first floor plan, the second floor plan disappears. First floor plan, second floor plan. Okay. And then you do all your text in, you know, you set your sheets up in SketchUp, I mean in Layout. And then I'll have reference, then I go back and reference. I'll have another sheet with the, the plans. Let's see what, got any comments? No comments? Well, I'm going to start another project. Uh, this was all I was going to do today, actually. I don't want to get too far ahead on my floor plans because it's liable to change. This is just a schematic drawing, and if the if the if the county or city or whatever she's trying to get this approved by doesn't approve this, and they say, "Oh, it's too big," you got to build exactly on the old footprint, then I'll basically have to redraw the whole thing. So I don't want to get too far down the road until we uh, get some approval. But we will see you next time on this job, and thanks for watching.